All right, now we're doing 7Q, Love versus Friendship. This is by J or Nor J, and 92% of the people like it. If A equals 1, B equals 2, C equals 3, all the way up to Z equaling 26, then love equals 54, friendship equals 108, uh, and then, <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, the input will always be lowercase and never be empty. Uh, so basically, for this one, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, make an object with all these in it and uh, then access the object per letter of the string and then uh, sum all those uh, values up, all right? So let's start. We're gonna start off by uh, declaring some variables, let result equal zero, and then we're also gonna say char equals this long object, all right? And in the object, we're just, I'm just going to, uh, we're just going to put all these. So give me a second, a few seconds. All right. Uh, so now we've got that done. Let's do a for loop. We're going to uh, iterate through the string. Or the string is string. So we're going to say uh, for let i equals zero while i is less than string dot length we're going to say i plus plus All right now we're going to say uh result plus plus equals uh str char at string at the current index and then we're going to return result let's see what happens i because this is not a semicolon test it out all right good attempt it two milliseconds here all right let's see what we can do let's see if we can beat it uh with the concise syntax all right, so for the concise syntax, we're gonna say const here, words to marks equals, get rid of the parentheses, you actually get rid of everything. We don't even need this. Uh, just an arrow right here. And I forgot, we're gonna need the uh, UTF-16 code chart. Uh, this looks good enough. Yeah, there we go. All right, and uh, so basically for this one what we're going to do is we're going to say string dot split so we're going to turn the uh, string into an array and uh, if you don't know what the split method is it basically will divide a string into an array uh, based on what the pattern is you put in here so we're going to in this one we're going to use the uh, spaces in between the characters uh, to split them up character by character and now we're going to do the reduce method. Let's do this on the next line. Uh, we're going to use the reduce method, which executes a user supplied reducer callback function on each element of the array in order passing in the return value from the calculation on the preceding element. And the final result of running the reducer across all elements of the array is a single value. Uh, and the first time we're going to use uh, the first time that the callback is run, there is no return value of the previous calculation so if supplied an initial value may be used in its place and so we're going to use an initial value of zero in this one and the easiest to understand case for reduce is to sum all the elements in an array which is what we're going to do after uh, we do something else so we're going to do reduce here and for the syntax we're going to use we're going to use this uh, previous value current value arrow expression and initial value after a comma all right so we're going to have the previous value current value an arrow the expression but after the comma is going to be the initial value which is going to be zero and the expression right here is going to be uh prev the previous value plus and then cur dot and then we're going to use this uh, char code at, 
which uh, this method returns an integer between 0 and this number, representing UTF code unit at the given, in, at the given index. So at cur, what was it, char dot char code at, all right. And, but the thing is, let me, let me get a better list, something we can link. All right, so you see here, uh, A, little a starts at 97, right? So we've got to subtract 96 from it each time uh, to get to the little a on uh, our little chart here, our UTF-16 chart. So we're going to say prep plus cur dot char code at, and we're going to say minus 90 a 6, all right? And that'll take care of business, hopefully. Let's see. And it does. All right. Attempt it. Two milliseconds also. All right. So that's good enough for me to leave this one up here. Let's submit it. Uh, very much like this one. Let's go to my solutions. Just me. Best practice, in my opinion. And we'll see you next time.